They say that familiarity breeds contempt, but for Robin Lorraine Holloway of Partridge Farm, it's not familiarity or contempt that sends them overseas every year, it's their passion for food and the constant search for new ideas. This is Partridge Farm. It's an amazing bed and breakfast hobby farm that you just have to visit once in your life. It truly is a permacultural paradise on Flinders Island. Rob and Lorraine have built this place up over the past 33 years. Rob describes that it was once an ecological desert. It's far from that now. Guys, this place is incredible. Amazing. Can we go and check it out? Yeah, come and have a look around. You coming, Heidi? Why Partridge Farm, you ask? Well, partridges, scores of them and just about every animal you could think of. Some for fun, and some for the tum. So they're, they're dorpers. Dorper? Yeah, dorper. Bro, they originate from Africa, and... Looks like you've um, had a crack at shearing it, mate, and you've given up halfway. Yeah, it's one thing <laughs> I'm not much good at. <laughs> Do they give much of a, a, a decent fleece for... Good for nothing, yes. it's just matted and it just falls off, yeah. Okay. It's a great breed of sheep for us in the way that it, it's got much better flavour than, than normal lamb because it tastes a little bit between, say, I'd say goat and lamb. Got any in the fridge? Yeah, we can, we'll have a snack and we'll oh, have a I'd couple of chops later, yeah. Do you want to wander up and have a bit of a browse in the garden? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere I looked was making me feel hungry. These are Japanese plums. Yeah. Yeah. But I preserve them for the house guests' breakfasts. What kind of spuds are you? Pink eyes or...? We've got Canabex. Canabex. And um, a red one. A Canterbury one. cream. Yeah. Look, what should I dig the hole anyway? There you go, Cam. Watch my feet. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that is potato heaven. Good work, Cam. That's from one tree. One, well, one plant. Fresh, organic produce. It just doesn't get better than this. We'll give the spuds a wash and we'll probably give Cam a bit of a wash too, I think. I think so. Need a shower. We've got mutton birds. Oh, mutton bird. We've got some mixed wallaby, marinated wallaby. Marinated Thanks, Big. Some pork sausages from the Dorpers. We've got a bit of bacon, we've got some um, olives, we've got some prosciutto, and some pesto. Yeah. The snack that Rob had mentioned was quickly turning into a feast. Oh wow. They haven't been trimmed, they're just straight off the, off the lamb, four and a half months. I bet we go and get a, a bit of um, homemade tomato sauce. Oh, I think so. My nan used to make homemade tomato sauce yeah. and relish. Yeah. Oh, wow. Tomato puree for casseroles and things, yep. our own olives, relish, jams. This is really nice. So this is, this is the sauce? Sauce, we've got some relish as well. So we get out of here before those boys eat those chops. Everything that you guys are doing just reminds me of my nan. She made everything herself. Came from, came from a generation where she had to make everything herself. Yeah, yeah. I just think, well, well, you've got so many things that we're growing. You can't let it go to waste. You've got to make something out of it. That's secret recipe, isn't it, mate? <laughs> One of our days. Wild, good for you. This is a wild wallaby. Make it go hoppy, mate. Hoppy are happy. Look at Tommy Rhodes. I'm in heaven. Do you guys get away much through the years? Do you, do you get away off the island? Yeah, we try to get to Europe every year. We stay, go to Italy and we stay with an Italian chef and get lots of different ideas. Yeah. Yeah. It, just, it just keeps you really interested. Mm. And when you go away, and when it's great to learn different and travel and see so many different places. Yeah. And, like and if, so many people say, oh, we're going to Australia. And you know, I'd love to come back to Tasmania. I said, well, it's just got everything in Tasmania. 
to eat rainforests, you've got your beaches, you've got your mountains, great That's food. Doesn't it? Yeah. You see everything. Yeah. I always say, and you know, if you've got a little bit of time to come to Flinders Island. I did forget to bring my plectrum, so I'm going to use uh, this mutton bird. Leg. Leg, which is a very famous Tasmanian pick. All the way from South Korea. So very unique. It's beautiful. It's wet. This song is the uh, is the song for Famous Tasmania, the show, and it actually started when my dad wrote uh, another song about 40 years ago, which was this one. And that's brother and I used to kind of muck around, going, you know, this is dad's song. So I borrowed dad's song and some lyrics and came up with the famous Tasmania song, which is this. Famous Tasmania is a heart-shaped paradise Grass is greener, the air is cleaner, everything is nice People are as friendly as the summer sun is warm Famous Tasmania, famous for its charm Thanks for a truly wonderful day. Thanks, Thanks Rob. I'm so full I can hardly breathe. See you guys down the vines. <laughs> so I think if the world were to stop today, tomorrow on Partridge Farm, life would continue on just as usual. People they go But if the river still runs Then the river still flows Fly, fly Into the southern sky so come fly, fly.